Hello, Bill. Hi. I'm meeting up with Bill Trafon, who is Alaskan native Denina. His family has been living on Lake Clark for generations. I heard that your, your parents had a, an encounter with some large unknown creature in the lake a while ago. Everybody may be a mile out, and all of a sudden their motor just stopped. My dad is going to start working on it. My mother saw where behind them a big tail came up and went, went down. The motor probably could see teeth marks on it. What did they think it was? They think it was a pike. And, and you've got, there are pike in the lake? There are big pike oh, in the yeah. lake? Oh, yeah, there's pikes in the lake. Did your mother have any idea how big it might have been? Judging from the tails, you thought maybe 12 feet long. 12 feet. Yeah. So uh, going, going back generations, people say that if, that if you actually see one of these big fish, it's actually, it's, it's like a bad sign. They're superstitious about it, you know. Yeah. So they see the big fish, something will happen in your family. They don't know who or when. My mother saw it, and my dad drowned it the next summer. Tragedies like Bill's father drowning only helped to strengthen the legends surrounding the monster. But this story has given me some vital information as to what it could be. Attacking a propeller suggests it is a sight predator. It's not some deep water scavenger, but is active on the surface. This all fits with it being a pike, which is what Bill's mother thought she saw. I'm well aware of what this river monster is capable of. But it's certainly got some attitude. <laughs> Very toothy, I wonder if I can just get my hand in there.